Hi everyone. This is Beyond Deep's top 10 poly movies list. We are a polyamorous couple and we created this list of some of our favorite films. So get cozy and enjoy. Number one. She's gotta have it. A black love comedy drama about an artist who is openly dating three very different men at once and is unapologetic about her sexuality and desires. Not to be confused with the series She's Gotta Have It. Honorable mention, She Hate Me, also by Spike Lee. Number, Number two, two, Mango Kiss. A campy and hilarious comedy about a lesbian couple in San Francisco who explore role-playing and kink in an open relationship for the first time. Number three, Viva. A stylish modern take on sexploitation filmmaking set in the 70s, starring and created by Anna Biller as a woman in the midst of exploring and reclaiming her sexuality in this high camp comedy. Trigger warning, sexual violence. Number, Number four, Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. A biopic drama about the creator of the comic Wonder Woman and his long-term kinky poly triad. The movie chronicles their loving relationship and their life's influence on the controversial comic. Number, Number five. Splendor. A lighthearted rom-com that shows the realistic beginnings of a polydynamic. A young actress in LA meets two different men at the same Halloween party. She dates them separately, but eventually they become a poly triad. They're blissful for a while, but she is torn between their unconventional relationship and a monogamous one when she meets a stable third man. Honorable mention, Nowhere, also by Greg Araki. Number six, The Image. An artful, erotic 70s classic depicting a lifestyle DS relationship. A man becomes obsessed with an old friend and her submissive, a younger woman, after running into them at a swanky party in Paris. The dominant brings him into their dynamic, opening him up to the lifestyle and an intense experience. Honorable mention, Score, also by Radley Metzger. Number, Number seven, seven, Short Bus. Multiple storylines intersect in this queer comedy drama. The characters attend a queer and trans play party called Short Bus in New York City, where they are encouraged to explore sexuality in an open environment. The themes of repression and depression are addressed. Number eight, The Witches of Eastwick. Three magical friends call in their ideal man. They all fall for him when he arrives, causing a judgmental backlash from the townspeople. The women discover he is also a supernatural force to be reckoned with. This movie is funny throughout. Number nine, Bye Bye Blondie. A French drama interspersed with scenes from an 80s youth love affair. The two women rekindle passion of that intense love. One is still punk rock, while the other is now a celebrity, married to a man in a poly arrangement. Trigger warning, institutional violence. Number, Number 10, 10, Sirens. A British minister and his wife go on mission to Australia and come across a blasphemous painting. He sets out to reform the artist, but when they arrive, they find the artist, his wife, and his muses are happily polyamorous. The minister and his wife soon get opened up to their desires in this enchanting rom-com. Honorable, Honorable mentions. A home at the end of the world. Kiss me again. Okay, so that was actually 15 movies. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy these gems. Let us know if you've seen any of them, or if you watch them, what you think. Like, like and subscribe! subscribe.